hello guys welcome to your 15th lesson in this Vue.js course and in this lesson we're going to be looking at v directives we're going to be looking at the built-in one and how you can create or build a custom directive all right so let's dive right into it okay so what exactly are directives now according to the documentation here it says directives are special attributes with viv prefix view provides a number of built-in directive including these blah blah and blah and blah and blah okay so we've seen one example of directive which is v model okay so let's look at some of the built-in directives that we have in view okay so let's click on this and then we can see we have a whole lot of stuffs right here and how about instead of just looking at all these we actually um use some of it now some of the v directive the built-in directives i'm going to show you include things like if else and for and let's see we've used v bind we've used v model okay maybe v html and you can just may maybe figure the rest out have a look at the docs and if you have any questions you can actually drop it in the comment section below okay so let's get started the first one i'm going to show you is v4 and this is actually help us so let's clear the previous code we have right here this will actually help us to loop through and render dynamically okay so let's let's do something i'm going to okay have my div tag and i just want to have okay let's say um h3 which says okay lists and we're going to have a class of i think a class of text um 3xl and font bold that works fine and what i'm basically going to basically going to do is i'm going to return a value which is going to be let's say um data data list and then it's going to be an array of objects okay so the object is going to have an id of um let's say one and then basically it's going to have title of um list one and then it's going to have let's say um active and then it's going to be false all right so we're basically going to have something like this and i'm going to skip ahead where i'm going to complete this and have about 12 objects in this array okay so i basically have 12 objects right here inside of this array and we can basically look at it like um data lists and let's save that and let's come back to our application oh we can see it right here that's definitely interesting and i can just have another div right here and this is going to be have a class of it's going to have a class of max width and let's say 500 pixels 500 pixels no i think 1000 would should be okay and then mx auto okay and this should be text center and yeah should have wants it to actually have a class of flex flex call and then gap five and okay this is basically what i want okay we have something like this and let's add a bit of padding okay and we have this i want to actually render our list right here okay so let me close this and want to render our list using one of these built-in directive and the first is i'm going to use this v4 so basically i want to render each one of these into each of their div tags and what i'm going to do is i'm basically going to have v4 now using the extension that we installed earlier it will actually give you um you see it brings the suggestion right here so i'm basically going to use this syntax here so we want to actually access this loop through this particular element so uh this particular data rather so we say item index in data list and the key is going to be index so basically we can access this right here the all of the single object that we have here so the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to say item okay item dot title let's save that and let's see what we have 
okay so we can see it actually gave us and rendered each of the list right here and which actually makes a whole lot of sense because it's and it actually reduces the amount of code and we are able to dynamically output a particular element a particular template etc using this v4 directive and let's actually make it text center um okay let's see 10 and let's see okay we have all of these now this works fine and this actually works well so what about let's say um we do we do something or something interesting let's say we have another data right here and this is let me just put it here okay this is let's say um okay let's say we have light mode and then this is false okay now we can basically come down right here and we can have a click event and it's going to basically say okay so let's have our click events here i'm going to put this in so let's say let's close this um yeah so let's have our method here method and then this is basically going to do say have this and i'm going to create change okay switch mode and let's see it's going to say this dot light mode is equals to not this dot light mode all right and we're basically going to have a button nothing fancy i just want an irregular button change and then this is going to have at click and then it's going to be equal to switch mode all right what we basically want to do is let's output this here light mode now what we basically want to do is whenever we click on this okay this currently it is false but whenever it is true we are going to dynamically render using one of these built-in directive which is if and else yeah so basically what i'm going to do is something like down here i'm going to say um i'm going to have my div and i'm going to say light mode and then right here i'm going to say dark mode so what i'm basically going to say is v and then if and then let's auto generate that okay so v if so if the light mode is actually true we want it to render light mode and then we're going to add a class of um let's say bg green and then padding of five and then text white okay but we're going to say v else okay this is going to render and then this is going to have a class of um bg red i think 500 okay this should be like 500 and padding of let's use three pixels and text white okay so let's save that and let's see what that is going to actually give us all right we have dark mode here now if i should click on this we see it rendered this and it's not just we are changing attributes or something if i should inspect this we can see this particular element is being rendered but if i should click on change that particular element has been taken away from the dom so that is one of the building directives that we can use okay finally let's give ourselves a task with this view directive we see we have tons you can just explore with this uh and as i mentioned earlier the link to this will be in the description below so let's kind of give ourselves a tax where whenever we click on each of these items just like a to-do list okay something is going to happen so basically let's kind of do that right now and i'm going to actually have a click event which is going to say filter to do's and basically i'm going to take in a parameter which is id i think we have id yeah i'm going to take in the id all right and i'm going to console.log let's first do this console.log and then id and what we'll do is attach the click events to each one of these okay um at click and we can do something such as call this 
this method right here and i'm going to say okay to do filter to do and it's going to take in item dot id okay so let's actually come to our console here and click on this and say one two three four so what we basically want to do now is i'm going to say const I'm going to say new to do list equals to this dot data list dot filter and basically it's going to take in list and it's going to say um list dot id is not equals to id and then what i'm going to say is this dot data list is equal to new to the list and this is it very simple okay let's hope that works i'm going to come back here and click on this boom boom okay that works that works that works that works that works that works 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 and works so that's basic uh, the basic of creating a to-do list we can have an input a v model bind it so uh i kind of want to give you a, a a challenge before we continue okay try and do this by yourself create a new app and then have an input field so i just want you to combine everything that we've learned so far with directives but data binding and every other thing events combine it and try and create a to-do list where you can basically have an input and a button that adds to the list and you can basically click on one of the item or maybe a button beside and it's essentially just um, removes that from the list so how about we actually go into custom directive and if we should come here to uh, view JS documentation here i think they have a very simply um simplified example which is this okay we can basically have a function aha that says this okay let me implement that i'm basically going to come here and let's um just come here and let's see i'm going to comment this out okay i'm going to comment all these So let's comment this out and comment this out also. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a div and I'm going to have an input. And the input is going to have a class, let's say class of, I just want to have a border and padding of five. Okay, that's just all I need for now. And coming back here, okay, we should be able to see our input somewhere somewhere here which is fine and well so what the goal of this is basically to have a to create a um, custom directive which is v focus that whenever we add it automatically it's going to focus in this input field here okay so the first thing i want to do is i'm going to come right here back to my code and we're going to make a bit of manual adjusting now note if you actually running your app right now you might need to quickly pause the development server and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new variable and it's going to be equals to create app so i'm just going to um reconfigure the app structure right here so i'm going to then say app dot component so this basically still translates to what we did here but we also get the ability to actually tap in to app dot directive okay so this is basically going to take in a string the name of our directive i want to be focus and we are basically going to have this right here and we can tap into various um life cycle now we're going to go into life cycle in the next um lesson so don't worry too much about life cycle so what we are going to do is mounted okay and then we're going to have okay it's going to take in the element and then i'm going to um return element dot focus okay that's basically what i want to do and i'm going to save these and i'm going to just say v focus all right so let's save that and let me restart my development server okay so i'm going to restart this and then run it again 
so let's come back to our app right here and we can automatically see that being focused so let's in case you're not sure let's actually create another custom directive which would automatically um let's say increase font size so i'm going to put here i'm going to create a p and i'm going to say font increased font size and we're going to create another app directive and this is going to be let's say um fee big and then this is going to say element dot font size then is it going to be let's say um 100 pixels okay so let's save this and we can see the um this particular element right here so what would happen if i should come here and i should do something like v big let's see um if that would work and no it's not working so i'm just going to restart my development server okay so let's do that and i'm going to run it again okay but i think there might have been a mistake here so let's actually add style okay this should be dot style dot font size okay so let's see did that work okay our development server is still starting up okay so let's go back to our app we can see this has increased font size so that automatically is going to apply to this if i should have another um paragraph here and i should do maybe have um something else let's just use a div and we say okay adjusted font size and i can just put v big and let's save that and come here we can see that also add automatically add increased font size so that's how you can create custom directives in Vue.js. i'm going to see you in the next lesson